My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we want to look at Queen Esther. In the Bible, in the book of Esther, the word of God says this about her. It says, She lay prostrate upon the ground, together with her handmaids, from morning until evening, and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me, who am alone, and have no help but you. Now, brothers and sisters, Esther, who was the queen, was someone who had the entire country looking at her in admiration. And she had the approval of the king, her husband. But she still chose God above everything. She never once considered a worldly route to resolve her problems, but rather went to the Lord in humble repentance and love. She literally gave herself no other option but God. Many times in our lives, when we are faced with problems, we allow other worldly solutions to take first priority. Or we travel a middle path, a little bit of God, a little bit of the world. But we know that this does not work, this a little bit of God and a little bit of the world, it never works. If we really notice in the Bible, among the people who loved God, there's a clear trend. They put God first in everything, no matter whether they were farmers or kings or queens. This is the true path of success for us today. God first. Jesus first. I want to invite us today to put God first in everything. As we read the story of Esther, at the end, God gives her a resounding victory. Not an ordinary one, but a great one, not only for herself, but through her, for the entire Jewish people. Brothers and sisters, whatever it is that we're going through today, I want to invite you, put God first. Have a blessed and Jesus-filled day.